Hello everybody, in today's video I'm talking about the very best jobs for seniors over 55. And the reason I'm doing this video is there's probably two situations where you might be curious about finding some part-time work or some light full-time work. And that would be if you are getting ready to retire and yet you're not quite certain if you have enough financial resources to 100% finance your retirement, so you might want to have a part-time job to supplement your retirement. In the other case is if you are getting ready to or you've already retired and you're not certain if uh, you're going to be able to handle boredom of not having something to do all day if you've been used to having a long, uh, fulfilling career. So my name is Dawn Dickinson and the channel is Reflections and Insights for Life Over 55. Today I am reviewing the top 10 jobs for seniors, but there are two parts to this video today. First is I had thought of my own jobs that I think are great for people my age, for my friends and myself. And the other is when I was going to talk about my list, I did some uh, research on the internet and I found a list that was put together by Indeed. Now you know Indeed is a recruiter, a recruiting website that helps match employees with uh, corporate jobs and so they should be an authority on the topic but I found that their list fell very short and I think the reason for this is they are a corporate recruiter and a lot of the jobs that might be best for seniors are not traditional corporate jobs so um, this is where I think the difference is but let me start out I'm going to review the Indeed job list first and then I'm going to tell you my own picks that I think are a better choice for people over 65 or 55. So the first one they came up with was housekeeper and that's where I felt they went severely wrong, housekeeper. I mean by the time people are my age, or at least I know in my situation, um, I have arthritis in the back of my neck and in my upper back. So when I'm doing housekeeping type work like washing the floor for instance, which is probably the biggest task in a housekeeper's job, or vacuuming or doing bathrooms, um, by the end of the day, my neck and back and shoulders are killing me. So I think unless you have had a career of being a housekeeper or you're very physically active, I would say housekeeping is probably a very poor choice for people in our age group, or, you know, the baby boomers and the generation before us. The second is on the Indeed list is retail sales associate. Now that again, to me sounds like a terrible idea. I worked retail when I was in college in my 20s and you're up on your feet all day and often you are closing a store late. Like who wants to be out until 9, 10 uh, working at our age and closing up a store and then having to drive home at night? To me, a retail associate uh, sounds absolutely terrible and I would not have that on my list. Now, number three, customer service rep. And I think the reason that we are on the list of having that be a good fit for us is because um, people our age are probably more patient on the phone but during the time where I had uh, gotten divorced and was needing to go back into the workforce at 50 I had a customer service rep job for about four months and it was very difficult one thing you were at your desk for eight to ten hours straight at a time with very few breaks and that's very bad sitting for that long is very bad for people our age any age but particularly our age and then often during the holiday season you're there till 11 o'clock or midnight again people our age if you want to have to be driving home at midnight i at one point almost got into a car accident i hadn't even done anything wrong but as i was turning into the last mile towards my house some guy uh, just pulled out of a driveway and almost broadsided me. So, uh, customer service rep, unpleasant job. I don't know why that would have made the list on Indeed, except for the fact that there are plenty of customer service jobs. So they were probably just thinking that was an easy job for us to get. So number four on the Indeed list is blogger. Now here's where they're starting to um, come up with some good ideas. Blogger or any type of content creator is going to be on my list for a very tough option for people who are approaching retirement. So that's when they got right at five. Number six, administrative assistant. Uh, they also called it secretary in a different article, which I thought was amusing because nobody calls administrative assistant secretary anymore. But the other issue is that administrative assistants have pretty much 
been put out of business by technology. So I would say if you could find that, that might not be a bad job, especially if you did it freelance, that could be a good option. But uh, administrative assistant type jobs, they're just not as popular as they used to be. And then bank teller is on the list. Now, uh, to me, that sounds like it might be a good choice, although I couldn't tell you what it involves. Uh, what it takes to get that type of job so bank teller on the list for indeed i'm not putting it in my list but it could be a good choice for people over 55. Uh, now medical biller that might not be a bad choice because a lot of it is uh, remote working so you might want to look into medical builder biller if you're interested in looking for something like that nanny now to me nanny sounded like a great choice because when i uh, was working and my kids were young I constantly worried about um, who was taking care of them and if I would have had like say if my mother would have been willing to watch my kids uh, that would have been absolutely fantastic if I could have found a mature person to watch them uh, okay indeed has their number nine recommended job for seniors as bookkeeper which that could be okay especially uh, in recent years, if you could prove that you're, first of all, capable of doing the job, you may be able to do it freelance and get some part-time hours, but that you are trustworthy. I cannot tell you how many uh, situations that I've personally known people where there was bezzling happening with the bookkeeper. So if you can prove that you are trustworthy, uh, that will be an incredibly good job for a senior person. And then number 10, they have as uh, pet sitter. Now that one's going to be on my list too. Pet sitter where you might just need to work for an hour a day for a week while someone's on vacation. If you could build up a good clientele, it's very difficult and worrisome to go away and leave your pets right now. I've got my four dogs ordered and uh, I might have considered a pet sitter if that was an option, but uh, that would definitely be something I would pursue. And then there is a bonus on the Indeed website and it says tutor so tutor again by the time we're our age we usually have some great knowledge so if you can set up a tutoring company or um, freelance through tutoring organization to help people that are struggling in certain subjects I think that is a great job for tutor tutor a great job for seniors and it's also going to make my list all right, so now you've heard me talk about the list that was created by Indeed, and I am going to now give you my own personal list of jobs for people over 55. So first one, I'm a little bit biased, but would be real estate agent, realtor. Uh, this actually is my job right now. Now I came from a background in IT. I worked in information technology for many years, which is not typically the right personality type to become. A real estate agent but yet it has worked for me it does take a long time to transition into being a successful agent unless you have just the right personality or a great sphere of friends agent could be good you might just close a few deals a year and supplement your entire income and give you something to do plus it also gives you an excuse to call all your friends constantly and keep yourself um, socially active so real estate agent is on my list of uh, good possible jobs for people over 55. So number two, I'm gonna say is some type of a consultant, a financial consultant, a, a lifestyle consultant, a engineering consultant, something like that would kind of be an extension of your career. Like if you would retire and say you were a fabulous engineer before retirement, uh, you could now retire and then freelance your time consulting on projects on a short-term basis and doing that either pre-retirement or just an occasional side gig as you are retired that can be a great source of income now i'm going to also say number three is going to be content creator where you are like me where you just have a youtube channel and you post um videos and that gives you actually a lot of fun to like research these topics try to see what these people are interested in uh, do the internet research to see do your list compile your list and then do the video I mean it's a lot of work but it's really fun and you might feel like you're helping people out so content creator in that regard where you're making videos or if you are just creating a website that has blog posts that could be helpful to people and then the other choice 
is if you're creating online classes because by the time you're age our age we have so much knowledge and it's a shame to just like not put it to use so you could create books classes articles videos that type of stuff and then the money will follow that but it's a purpose and it's something that i would recommend um, for people over 55. now number six is going to be like a freelancer which is slightly different from consultant right the way i'm saying it's different with freelancer might be someone where i create this video and then i upload it to somebody who does the editing for me so if i had uh, i do have editors on my other channel which i'm probably going to hire eventually editors to do these videos or say somebody to do the thumbnails or somebody to do your accountant to the, you know, your accountant that does your taxes that type of stuff so freelance services is a great uh, job possibility for people over 55. Okay, number five on my list is Nanny. We talked about that being on Indeed's list of top, their top 10, but it does make my list also because Nanny is a great way for you to have a good time playing with little kids and there's a strong need for people who are um, trustworthy and intelligent to raise our children. So uh, the better the health care or the child care that we can give to our children, the better it is for future generations. So Nanny is also one of my list. Uh, number six on my list is pet sitter, especially if you're wanting to pet sit farm animals. I have friends that have horse. My ex-husband has goats and chickens and turkeys and it's very difficult just to take a four-day vacation. So if somebody's willing to go and make sure all the animals have water and they have their feet, their hay, uh, on a farm for one that's very good but then even just everyday people who have dogs and i have my four dogs and boarding right now and you worry about them when you're on vacation so pet sitter is uh number six on my list and then i'm talking it out at number seven i am also going to say tutor because for instance i have a son who has autism and he's an adult and he's intelligent uh, but he's starting to take some classes in college and he could struggle if it's not one of these topics that he is obsessed about. So if he had a tutor, because when I try to teach him, you know, he shuts down and everything. Plus, I don't know all of these topics. But tutor, especially someone that works with the special needs adults, which I said seven was my list, but actually eight is my list if you have any type of services that you can provide struggling families who have special needs children or that have also grown into adults um, it's very difficult to be a parent of in my case a 23 year old who could use to have some help with life skills you know he's intelligent life skills life coaching and anything that might help him become successful in life without being dependent on his parents that type of skill and that type of service to the community would just be amazing. So that's it. The best jobs for seniors, people over 55 to work part-time, mostly part-time, but some full-time. My name is Dawn Dickinson, the channel, Reflections and Insights for Life Over 55. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am on vacation today. So I've been walking on the beautiful beach here on Coronado Island. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up subscribe i post videos like this one every single week so if you like the video i hope to see you back here again next week